Mm, hey y'all, welcome back to Ascending with Ashley. I'm Ashley. Uh, we had a full moon coming up on Timeru. Uh, full moon in Aries. And I'm laughing because I think I only do full moon readings like for these three full moons of the year. Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. And then I like don't ever do them again. So I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try and do full moon readings this whole year. Um... But I have our, I'm laughing because I specifically remember doing this last year because I was laughing at the word climax. Um, <laughs> a fiery climax approaches. So the full moon is in Aries. Aries is the baby of the zodiac. Uh, fire energy also ruled by Mars. Uh, very masculine energy. Um, so take that what, take about that what resonates. Um, I'm going to read you the little blurb from our Moonology book. Um, I am not an astrologer, but I love full moons. Alright, the flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you are on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign that there is something you want to happen in your life. Take this card as a big yes from the universe. Uh, this is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. The baby. But you're on the way. Uh, determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of the Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you are asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much more better karma, much better, more is not there, much better karma for yourself. Um, attuning to this moon, don't even think about giving up. Additional meanings, do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan, right? That's speaking to that don't go too fast. A new male is coming into your life. And that's for everybody, all right? The teaching Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so the new moon in Aries is the first of the 12, or, th of 12 or 13 new moons of the year. Okay, we're... I'm gonna not read the rest of that because that's not where we're at in the year. Alright. <sighs> Remember that the veil is very thin. We are on the cusp coming up on... So after this full moon, um, we're gonna be... We're still in Libra, which is good. We need the balance with all of this fire energy. Um, and then we're gonna be coming up into Scorpio season. Um, Scorpios are about depth. Um, and also secrets uh things coming to the surface halloween takes place in scorpio season um so again that veil is very thin so remember scorpio is a water sign libra is an air sign air feeds fire aries is a fire sign right so take up until what the 22nd 23rd be chill um we are still going to be coming out of this fire energy for the moon um, focus on you, focus on what you want to achieve, and light that fire under your ass to get it done, right? Um, again, remember it said, the universe said, yes. So whatever it is that you are trying to make happen, uh, you can do that. Um, and it will. I want to pull a couple messages from heaven. Um, let's get a little bit of guidance on how to remain balanced um, without losing our shit, okay? Uh, <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween? <laughs> uh, we didn't celebrate really that lot last year, but we're going to this year. Mommy spends too much money on candy. So, here we go. Let's get some messages from, um, these are from heaven, uh, whatever you believe, it's fine. 
Changes can bring your new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Number seven with 25. Two plus five is seven. So you are divinely guided. That looks like a little, like a baby hand. Um, so not only is the moon supporting you, uh, the zodiac in general is too. Libra's all about justice. We've been doing a lot of readings about stepping into your power, trusting your vision, trusting your ideas, uh, not staying complacent in your own oppression, essentially. Those words really haven't come out. Um, stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you. Don't be afraid to uh, speak up. <laughs> stand up right try not to worry we will bring helpful people into your life so not only are you supported on an esoteric level or like spiritual level if you are supported you are going to be finding support here um we did just read from the moonology that a new male will be coming into our lives so again helpful people are coming okay and never forget that you're loved you are loved love never dies Okay, so we have 9, 10, 9, and 7. 10 is the number of change, uh, completion, endings. Uh, 9 is a uh, very divine number. I think about 9 cats, or cats who have 9 lives. I myself have 9 cats inside, and I'm also taking care of the alley cats. That's another, like, 9. Um... So think about all that. Nine, then just even like within math, the number nine um, always comes back to a nine, right? So I don't know. I felt called to say that. And then the number seven. Seven is how many continents are on the planet, how many oceans there are. I mean, at least that's how it used to be. Um, nine is the number of planets too, but then they took Pluto, right? I don't know. Anyway, just know that the number there's a completion, um, and we're going into more divinity, um, is what these cards are speaking towards. Um, I feel like I want to read or a couple, grab a couple yes or no. Um, so think about the visions that you are having. If you need to pause for a sec to think about what questions you have, we're going to pull for some answers. Um, these cards are essentially magic eight balls which i also have right there um so yeah think of whatever questions you have whether it's regarding uh what plans you're coming into um what next steps you should take take a second um also remember that balance is really important i'm really rocking black and white today um human rights are important these cards are black and white um, and remember that there's a whole spectrum of color between black and white, right? Um, for nature, for us. The answer is yes. Alright, so whatever your question was, yes! That's like the fourth time we've heard yes, okay? Year. A year? Uh, in the moonology, it did tell us that we needed a 12-month plan. So whatever you're asking about is... A larger project right myself included got a couple of those um, make a list of your goals make a list of ways to tangibly reach your goals I'm a big list person myself um, but yeah you have the support you have the support coming in on the physical you have support it's fucking time it's fucking time all right it's time Whatever it is that you're thinking about that can make the world better, uh, it's possible. Myself included, alright? I've been sitting on some stuff for over a year, exactly. Um, I started planting seeds, you know? So, uh, it's time to really put that stuff into to fruition. Um, usually people think that hibernation time is this time of the year. Um, but no, with this full moon, this is, Aries is the beginning of the zodiac, so it's time to start new projects and plant those seeds for the next year. Alright, have a good one y'all.